Hi, hola, que onda? <laughs> How is everybody doing? I am recording this video from my bedroom, but I don't know if y'all can tell I'm a little tanner. Maybe it's the light, but I was just at the beach. I went to Puerto Vallarta with my family. They surprised me. Um, my parents are both vaccinated and they wanted to take advantage of that. So they came down to Puerto Vallarta during my mom's spring break. She's a teacher. And it just so happened to be my spring break too from school. So I did do a little bit of work while I was down there, um, but mainly I was able to enjoy the beach and hiking and the food and just giving myself that time I needed to relax. You know, I think you all, all know what I'm talking about. But I wanted to make a quick video here to talk about actually some of what I did while I was in Vallarta, which was working remotely. And specifically, I want to talk about the Cambly, the Cambly, <laughs> the Cambly. My mom, oh my gosh, my mom always calls it the COVID. She doesn't say COVID, she calls it the COVID. Mom, if you're watching this video. <laughs> um, but I wanted to talk about the company that I'm with right now, which is Cambly, as I've mentioned in my other um, and my other videos, and some of the pros and cons that I found with Cambly in terms of teaching online and traveling, but also just in general teaching online and traveling. So to start with the, the pros, some of the... The good stuff, um, the biggest, biggest, biggest thing that I have found necessary for me and I found within Cambly is flexibility. So there are no required hours every week. Um, I could work at 4 a.m., 4 p.m., literally, I mean, anytime I want. I could work Saturday, Sunday, not Monday. It just depends on when your schedule is. And in the past, I've worked for companies where like the first day of the week, we had to decide what our our schedule would be for the whole month. And I'm just thinking like, this is crazy. How am I supposed to know? So Kimberly, what I usually do is on Wednesdays, I set my schedule for the whole week. And I have regular students, so I almost always work the same, like the same hours and the same time. But really the best part is that there is no there is no requirement in terms of that. Oh no, my roommates are home. I hope I hope y'all can't hear them. I'm like always, I just need to stop stop mentioning the outward sounds because I think they're all like in my head. <laughs> I'm back home when I was in Vyarta, everything was just so quiet and I was in the hotel room like, oh my gosh. Um, but I think one kind of misses like those the sounds, like the train passes every night, for example. <laughs> but anyways. I would say the biggest, biggest pro would be the flexibility, and um, I found that in Cambly. So I try not to cancel classes just because I know that um, in terms of, like, keeping my regular students, that's important to keep that consistency. But if you do need to cancel classes, I believe it is 12 hours before the class you need to cancel. It might. Why do I never know? Okay, I'm going to put this in the comment section. It's either 6 or 12. Maybe it's six. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, so you have to do it like a certain amount of time before the class, but otherwise there are no no repercussions. And of course, just speaking more in general, um, I have so many friends right now that are traveling and teaching. A lot of them are teachers. Um, one of them, one of my good friends is a graphic designer, which is a, a super flexible job. Um, I've heard of people doing like, what is that called? When you, um, editing, which is something I'm interested in too. If anybody needs an editor and wants to call me, but like where you look over people that are not native English speakers, or maybe they are and they just, they want something to look at their academic work, for example. Um, I think that's interesting too. So let's switch over to the cons. Um, not too many cons, especially I feel like when you've just worked for a company that was like awful. <laughs> um, sometimes I'm just like anything that wasn't that, um, is is better but no there's definitely are cons um to working online and specifically teaching online because like for example my graphic designer friends um they 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 don't need like strong internet connection they can just they have like offline softwares as well that they can use um so cambly to be specific about the speeds they are not that the requirements are not that high i have it written down because I wasn't, I never remember the exact details. Obviously, I'm struggling with the hours thing. And uh, so the upload speed, you need three millibytes per second, and then the download speed is 10, which I think most internets, um, most internet speeds will, <laughs> why can I not, I cannot form my words here. Um, but most people would be able to, 
to get that um, requirement. But for example, I was in a hotel where they, there were so many people, I think it was just a big hotel and I could not get the, I couldn't pass that there's like a little test on Cambly that you have to do before you're able to teach. And um, my, my upload speed was not fast enough. So unfortunately I had to cancel a class, but thankfully I checked in the night before and I was able to, to make sure that, um, that I wouldn't be canceling the class last minute. So that's something I highly recommend is anytime you move spots, first of all, of course, before you even go, just like checking in and making sure that they have high speed internet or at least just like consistent in internet because that's a whole nother thing. I mean, like light outages or if there's a really bad storm or for example, like right now I don't have internet at my house because the landlord forgot to pay and they're on vacation because it's like Easter weekend. So, you know, it's like all of those little unexpected things. Um, that's why I always try to log in uh, beforehand so I can make sure that that I'm not gonna have any issues with my classes so overall those are just some of the pros and cons I found with teaching online if you have any questions please please feel free to to make um, to write comments ask me questions and I'll be happy to answer that and if you're interested in teaching for Cambly I have my referral link um, on there I have a friend that she's applying this week ah, Pilar, if you're watching I'm excited for you <laughs> all right take care you all bye thanks for watching